and welcome to the cube. I'm here in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming to you with a, I'm going to do a dip for my granddaughter, this love sign. And I don't think I've ever done a dip with the signs, the cut out MDF um, shapes. So I thought, well, I could definitely try a dip with this one, couldn't I? So I was going to use my texture paste, but I think I'll just try it without the texture paste this time. But I'm using the um, bubble wrap with the bubbles up, so it gives kind of a textured look anyway. And just the one thing I'll do is just put a bit of masking tape down to hold my... Um, bubble wrap down when I come to lift my um, lift my MDF love sign up off it so it's just just putting a bit of tape down just holds your bubble wrap from kind of lifting up with it and the other thing I did was put some of the tape on here so I can use it as a kind of pull it up I can use those as <laughs> pull up is the plan so whether it works or not I don't know we'll see so the plan is to start off with loading my bubble wrap but first of all I will so I've got to sort of I just want to mark with a texture where to put my Ooh, I should have done it what am I doing silly jilly I don't want to do it, I can't turn it around the other way because I'm going to dip it this way. I suppose I could, couldn't I? Because I could, could do it like that. So I just want to just mark where I need the paint because obviously you don't need to put the paint all over this bubble wrap. So it's just basically an outline of where I want to put the paint. So I know where to go. We all need a place to know where to go. And then hopefully the dip is going to be magnificent. <laughs> well, that's, that's hopefully, that's the plan. So I've got a little bit of my dark sea mixed with metallic gold left over. So I think I'm going to do a wiggly bits around my, which will be the outer edges of it. sort of giving me an idea to just the wiggly bits so that's used up that bit of paint um, I've got some of my lovely fluoro orange so I really want to pop pop the socks so again I will give that the wiggles here there and everywhere So I'm really hoping this works because you can get some really lovely MDF shapes um, that you can paint or dip and then resin afterwards to use them as, as na house name plaques or door plaques. Let's get my crazy dogs. <laughs> okay, so that's that. It's a lovely fluoro. Now I'm going with ooh, some um, purple and I'm, I'm gonna do my V's these were kind of give it like I always find they give it like a feathery effect like the feathers or um, textured what's wrong with my dog I think he's got something stuck in his mouth you silly sausage I want to come and rescue you Mm -hmm. You're just wiping his mouth from his dinner, I think. Oh. Every time I try to push my dogs out of my art studio, but they kind of insist that they want to be in here with me. Crazy dogs. Radio, we're going to go with my turquoise now. So don't remember, don't throw away any of your bottles that contain a squeezy nozzle ends because they'll all be very useful in your acrylic pouring art to just reuse the bottles because 
these squeezy bottles to buy in a shop as as a dispensing bottle would cost four or five dollars so save them this is a nice turquoisey color again i'll go around the edges just to make sure i i got plenty righty oh that was hard squeegeeing that i'm gonna go some white on here i'm just hoping that this is not too thin because when your paint is too thin and you're doing these dips it sort of goes in a big sort of mess should i say yes a mess so um and then i've got a little bit of black left over so i'll just do a few of the chevrons in there i mean this can be resined when it's dry and i could add some blingy bits for my granddaughter so she'd like that i'm sure Radio. I think that's enough colour. Don't want to overdo it, do I? Radio. So <laughs> the plan was to. I don't think that's going to work. Silly Jilly. Was these? Okay. Ooh, ooh. I can always push it in. Right. Press. Press it in. Just put a bit of pressure on it. I have a, um, it's just <laughs> a very old cake cooling rack that I've used and used and used for putting my artwork onto after. I haven't been um, studious in getting the paint off every single time, so it certainly looks well used. Now, if you have any paint left over on the, here, you can certainly dip other items, um, all sorts. You can, to make other things I guess but today I'm just going to concentrate on this MDF cutout now if there's any bits areas that may be missing a bit of paint it's a perfect area to kiss radio am I gonna ah. <laughs> oh wowzers trousers look at that oh hang on I'm gonna put it on my mat on my Wow, that does look nice. Hi. Oh, beautiful. I've still got enough there to, if you've got a canvas to, I'm just trying to look if I've got a little canvas handy. Oh, never anything when you want it. But anyway, I will worry about that later. So as I said, what you could do, if there's any areas that you want to jazz up, I've got my little balloon. And I see there's a little bit missing on that end. So I'm just kiss it. Oh, that's gorgeous actually. Doesn't really need anything in there, but you know, it's my signature balloon kiss. So I don't think my granddaughter would know it if it didn't have a balloon kiss or two in it. But that is perfect for um, adding resin to for that's so nice. Obviously, it looks so much nicer with the white background. But I'm happy with that. How easy is that if you've got access to some um, MDF cutouts? Or you can uh, get them or you can make them. That is lovely. I'll show you the finished product and especially on a, um, a white background. And it will really show the detail in there. But I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Thank you so much for joining me. Another little idea for your Christmas gifts there or birthday gift or just a gift to say I love you. So happy creating ladies and gents until tomorrow. Bye for now.